Here's Heidi and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1, Los Angeles. Heidi and Frank Show, thank you for joining us and hanging out with us all day. John Panette will be performing at the Brea Improv tonight through Sunday. For tickets, go to brea.improv.com. At John Panette, my uh, earliest memories are, are of uh, John seeing his stand up. Oh was my God. The, um, the Asian uh, all you can eat buffet and uh, <laughs> fantastic. The, You'll go now. You'll go now. I, I, oh. I think I still use that. I don't know when he first did, even did that bit. It was so uh, iconic. But like, that's yeah. I mean, he could have had a sitcom called "You Go Now" <laughs> and it would have been on for ten seasons. <laughs> so true. John Panette, where is he? Where's Get John? him in here. Let's oh, see what John. He is. Oh my God. Oh, Good to see you, man. Look at you, John. How are you? You're all fit and felt. Oh yes, I am fit. Please. <laughs> what has happened? I have to. I'll tell. I'll tell you the journey. All right. All right. Uh, so I've lost from say my biggest, which was two thousand, <laughs> two hundred pounds. Oh, I thought you said no, no, no. <laughs> the year two thousand. <laughs> the year two thousand. All right, John. All right. <laughs> I've, I've lost. I've lost about two hundred pounds. Wow. It's been a pleasure. To live with the whole time. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. Um, so it, now I go to the doctor. I have to lose another 75 pounds to get on the height and weight chart that says I should lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and I, it, you know how inside every big person there's a skinny person waiting to come out? My person was heavy. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So what do I do? Because I, I have a house in Pennsylvania, but I pissed off the Amish Mafia. So I had a lamb in here. I didn't know they had a muff. I know. I hear buggies coming up my walkway. I'm like, did they know I made fun of them on stage? Clip, clop, clip, clop. Don Jebediah sent a hit out for me. So, so I, I rent a house in Santa Monica, and I fit right in. Uh, it's a, a, a beautiful city full of health nuts, mm-hmm, and yes. uh, I don't I don't drive a Prius. Mm. When I first moved out there, I was like, "Why are there three Prius dealerships on this street? <laughs> they were parking lots. <laughs> it's just that everybody drives a Prius, and I don't want to drive in your Prius. It's a go kart. <laughs> don't go back and get a car. Pick me up. There goes our I, Prius sponsorship. And apparently, I know, thanks, John. No, I'm kidding. With, I'm the, kidding. with the Whole Foods, apparently. In Santa Monica, everybody gets one. Like, you get your own. I think there's like 47 of them. I don't know. <laughs> so why and, did you pick Santa Monica of all places if it's like a, uh, you, 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 you know what? Because it's beautiful. It right? is nice. And listen, it, it, and again, I'm an East Coast guy, but I, I love it everywhere. And, and, and so it, it, there's like snowstorms every other day in January. People are becoming doomsday preppers. They had so the polar been, vortex this year. It was like the super oh, winter of all time. They're miserable, and I, I'm just trying to tell my family, you know, it's well, it's not that great out here because they'll visit. Yeah, you feel good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you I want them to come. That. You don't want them to come for the no. The winter I don't months. want them at my house. Yeah, we're no, expecting the big them. one. Now yeah. the earthquake can earthquake. happen any moment. Yeah, you better exactly. stay out east. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, there was the earthquake a couple of weeks ago. That was like. Where were you? We're gonna ride out that storm. When you felt the earthquake, I was wide awake at six thirty in the morning. So you that felt it. Just kind of, get up! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I leaped out of bed like a gazelle. <laughs> but did you know what to do, or you just jumped out of bed and you I, stood there? Yeah. Doorway. And right. I, you're not supposed to do that anymore. Yeah, that's Which that's is the most the bizarre rules. thing, because when they show rubble, uh, you know, after an earthquake on the news, you never just see a pile of rubble and then a doorway. A doorway, and yes. a pile of rubble. I think you're supposed to just lay a down. perfectly pristine doorway. <laughs> right. You're supposed to just lay down, and then eventually the earthquake will go away. It won't attack <laughs> just, you. Just oh, no, that's a grizzly bear. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to going to risk it and say let's hope the house does not fall down around that's what i yeah. did my uh my i mean uh, it's lady, not like it's a hot yeah she I was mean, up and she's like uh, she felt it and she starts freaking out she's like what are we supposed to do and i'm like i don't think we're, i think we're supposed to stay completely still yeah like if i'm completely still yeah the earth will stop moving because it'll be, it'll be freaked out that I'm so still. I'm, that's, how you, that's, that's how you know how you react in like situations. I'm the, I am a possum. I am a deer in headlights. Well, it's, it, it's, the, it's a flight fight, fight yeah. or freeze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I freeze. You freeze. How, how about this show? This uh, people are prepping for doomsday. I'm so unprepared. Uh, you know I don't what? have uh, anything. Listen, yes, you are because if it's doomsday. 
it's been laid out for us, the plan. Well. <laughs> we are doomed. <laughs> and the fact this is the day. that we have a basement with water and top ramen noodles and fruit roll-ups. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know why you wouldn't want to live for that feast. <laughs> um, yeah. And not to mention the fact that you would have people in your basement. Um, and, and I, okay, I got family in my basement. I got top ramen noodles and fruit roll-ups. And guns. Okay. <laughs> see this is going to end well. <laughs> Did you see that, uh, I mean, in their entertainment news that uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and um, Chris Martin are getting divorced, and she's turned into this organic, you know, everything gluten-free, I mean, as far as diet plan. Organic. And he's not. He's like, give me some meat and potatoes. So after 10 years. Yeah, but it's not like he's heavy. I know, but she's like, she's so into healthy, raw, organic food. I mean, that they're getting divorced. Oh, uh, uh, well, and this is how, this is what happens with the raw food people. Because mm-hmm. you see them wandering around Whole Foods. They wander because they no longer, they don't know what to do. They haven't had any food. <laughs> they don't know what to do. They walk around thinking, I used to be here. I used to come here for something. And I know there's something I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. It's like walking dead because they've had no meat. They're nothing. And they basically, you see them, they have 50-pound bags of almonds. <laughs> and they take it's it true. home and put it mark. into a Play-Doh fun factory <laughs> and make it into food. That they like, try this. It's meatloaf. No, it's not. It's almonds. <laughs> You're crazy. No, I'm not. Try this. It's yeah. lasagna. <laughs> no, it's not. It's zucchini with almond cheese. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, they have always trying to pass it off. Yeah, they pass it off, and they have things called not dogs. They're hot dogs, but they're but they're, Tofu, but they're, right? not, they're, they're, they're not, not dogs. dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah, not it's they're, chickenless chicken. <laughs> well, clearly, I would yeah. like some chicken. I'm waiting for the day where you're, you're like standing behind somebody in the grocery line, and there's nothing going down the belt. There's some guy just bagging up imaginary groceries <laughs> what, into a, into yeah, empty yeah, sacks, go, and they're carrying them yes, out to their car. Well, I've got I've got my aloe vera water. Oh yes, yep, yes, which is supposedly supposed to be great for acid reflux mm-hmm. and oh. coach your uh, insides yeah i so I, I and i do actually do juices um just because i can't choke down a salad so i figure out you know just get it, chug that it way. Just salad. Chug it. get it out of the and way. i was drinking a juice and juice bar in santa monica and a lady goes oh what's in that i go ham <laughs> and she looked at me like i just clubbed a baby seal she was not happy <laughs> and there's there's been a resurgence in this uh, organic thing first of all Organic, I, you know, it's really kind of just a buzzword now that people gravitate towards. What it's, you know, it's it's an it's a it's an organic brick. I mean, it's an organic like I I don't know everything's organic. It's, it's like, like when you put the word came, uh, you know, Swedish in front of something. Swedish made something so ground. much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swedish meatballs way better than the organic other meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I like my my pork free range. Um, I like them to take the, the pig to Disney World, put them on the rides, and then whack them on right. the way to the airport. Right. I never understood free-range chickens because I just don't see chickens just out in the wild. I'll tell you what happened. All right. The free-range chicken thing. Chickens are farmed in Mississippi and Arkansas, most of the chickens in the country. And these farmers who are, you know, who are unsung heroes don't get paid enough. They get more if it's free-range. But they didn't read the pamphlets, and we just let all the chickens out. Yeah. Well, I live in Arkansas, but, you know, I got calls about my chickens far away in South Carolina. <laughs> and uh, w- apparently one of them got into some whiskey and <laughs> shot at a deputy. <laughs> <laughs> and my cousin's a sheriff in our county, and he was not happy. Buford, <laughs> are these your chickens out here? So this is what you call free range. <laughs> You've let them go free range all over my county. Now I don't care what you call them, you coop them up. <laughs> John Pinnett hanging out with us. He'll be performing at the Brea Improv tonight. It's a great club, by the way. Through Sunday, yeah, at brea.improv.com for tickets. And at John Pinnett on Twitter. You uh, into the social media? You on there quite you a bit? You know what? Honestly, I, I just turned 50 last week. And Happy I, birthday, not, John. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
Um, you know, I, I just, uh, I, I do it in, in so much that, you know, I want people to be able to, to know where I am and follow stuff, but I, I'm not, I'm not passionate about it. So it I, I have, I have to do better is what I'm saying. <laughs> I just don't, yeah. you know, I, I well, just Well, admitting can't. it's the first step, I think. Well, I, I just, <laughs> I don't, I don't think that there's, you know, it's, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm in line in an, in, an, in an out burger. I'm going to tweet something in line at in an out burger. Who are you following on Twitter? Uh, you know what? N nobody. Really? <laughs> I, I do have my iPad with me, and I do all kinds of little Google searches and everything else. And I like the Linda Cupcakes thing. Linda Cupcakes? What's it was that? on Hulu. Uh, is that is porno? It, no, it's a little kid asking for cupcakes. Oh, oh, and definitely which is, not porno. Which is, which was, it's it got eight million hits. Very funny, because yeah. I asked for cupcakes. Um, <laughs> no, they, this there's been a resurgence in in America of cupcakes. About so, what was it? Sprinkles, crumbs. Yes. Is it five? Ten, about ten years maximum. Mm -hmm. And apparently, it's a craze. Everybody decided that I just. You, have you have you been? It, it's it's like a cake, but it's small. Yeah. Have you been to I, Velvet? Listen. Velvet's the best. Oh no, Crave's the best. The, yeah, the milk's Susie the best. Cakes. Yeah. It, it, yeah, and I it's oh, it, yeah. they're it's no it's they just sell cupcakes. I'm like yes, cupcakes. I I'm in the loop. Right. We've we've known about them since I, we I, were in kids. Yes, Here's I got the them in my lunchbox. Any cake you can hold with one hand is a cupcake. Absolute, absolutely, and. <laughs> Huh. And, and it another, really is. And another one is now, like anything we take in our society, we do it until it's ruined. <laughs> I go to a cupcake place and I say, can I have a vanilla cupcake? And uh, they don't have it. They said, no, 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 that was a Thursday. Oh, my God. Today we have cumin and turmeric. <laughs> oh, good. Because when I came in here, I go, if they don't have cumin... I am going to be pissed. Oh, my God. Because vanilla is a very iffy flavor. I could see where you could <laughs> yeah. go with We don't carry that one every day because it's not a big turmeric. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> I go to this place in Beverly Hills, got cupcakes. I want to buy cupcakes from my manager's office. They're nice people there. And it's, I, so I get, I get to get two dozen cupcakes. And the girl behind the counter, fresh little kid. She goes, really? And I think, oh, two dozen cup. I go, yeah. I go, I'm bringing them to the office. She goes, really? <laughs> I, go, I can't even believe you. Bunch of fresh people here. <laughs> I should have brought in a quinoa salad and go, I don't know how to do this. Can you pick out some stuff? I'm bringing it to the office. <laughs> Would you like some quinoa? <laughs> There's a story that is today about a kid who got a, a McDonald's receipt tattooed on his arm. If you could, uh, any restaurant from uh, your favorite restaurants of the past, get a tattoo of a restaurant, slogan, logo, whatever, what would it be? That's your oh favorite place. Oh, my God. I, I mean, what was your kryptonite I, of restaurants? Well, as an homage, probably a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, probably be back back in Boston, the Kowloon or something like that. Yeah, when I was little, I always when we went to the Chinese restaurant, it was called the House of Hunan, and I, and I thought that that meant we were rich. Oh, you were at the it, house absolutely! Listen, yeah. we it's went true. out for Chinese food when I was a kid. That was vacation. It was. Right. That's absolutely true. We they went said, to the "Did Orient. you like your vacation?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> that was your vacation. What did you do on vacation? We had crab oh. rangoon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and egg roll. We all got our own. Oh. And, uh, and that orange. And the table had a lazy Susan because they served. Oh yeah, poo poo oh. platter. Oh. Oh. I love that. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> Don't get me started. Now the egg rolls are free range, which is <laughs> oh, absolutely. These free, oh, yeah. it's all organic. <laughs> no, no, like conventional produce here. <laughs> this organic bok choy <laughs> from organic bok choy farm. John Panette, thank you so much for coming in. Going to be performing at the Brea Improv tonight. Thank you for Sunday. having me, John. We love it's you. Nice, and I, you know, and I watch a show. You Watch Dish Nation? Yeah. yeah, you know what? I've worked with Ricky Smiley a okay, little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's great. Very funny guy. Uh, but yeah, it's a pleasure. Harvey Levin comes on afterwards, and he just, it, it's weird because he always needs a beverage.
Yeah, he's, he's got, got the, to have with the, the straw and the, yeah, yeah, the what, what are you, a mermaid? I mean, what? <laughs> you want to dehydrate that fast? You got to go to a, you got to go to a doctor. Yeah, you get, you your get kidneys checked. Yeah. checked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, John, for coming in. At John Pinnett on Twitter, brea.improv.com for tickets oh. performing tonight through Sunday. Thank oh. you very much. Oh, yes. Look who we got. Happy we got. birthday. Oh, thank Happy you birthday to you. Too. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. I don't think we have rights to that song, so we have to sing the Chi-Chi's version. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy so it birthday. is your birthday. I think I hit the say Happy. <laughs> All right. Thank you, John. We'll be right back. We're Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.